Here I have for you today the 2021 Keystone Bullet 250 BHSWE. Bunkhouse with a slide. So you can see you have the power tongue with light helping out with hitching. Propane tanks would sit under there. Your batteries would sit right there. Of course, we don't put them on any of our travel trailers because homeless people would take them potentially. Your non campsite pass through storage with your convenience station. A lot of good things in here. Connections for city water, fresh water, your black tank flush, winterization features so that you can easily winterize your unit without having to access the actual water pump or water heater battery disconnect outdoor shower component with hot and cold water your key tv making uh, connecting satellite and cable easy throughout the unit and your actuators for your front or your rear and front stabilization jacks that are powered no cranking manually so move down Gray tank, offshoot, or slide. Black and gray tank in the rear. So that's where your restroom is. Ladder to access the roof for maintenance and cleaning. Fully walkable roof. 30 amp power connection. Spare tire, full length awning, powered with an LED light strip, exterior speakers, got an outside kitchen here, nice cool vertical setup with your fridge, two burner propane cooktop. One interesting thing is that I don't know if you can see how high this goes up. If you wanted to make any adjustments and maybe open up some space up there for additional storage, you've got plenty of it. On the campsite pass through storage door. Of course, this is an aluminum frame fiberglass sided travel trailer, four seasons. Got a nice pegboard here to affix any tools, recovery gear. Let's head on inside. As we head inside, I want you to notice the solid step system. Super light. Those legs extending out so you can adjust depending where you are. Your extended grab handle makes getting in really easy. And this is a double bunk house travel trailer. Let's break it down. In the very rear of the travel trailer, you have double bunk setup. So you can see windows on two sides plus USB outlets and 110 outlets. Little nook and a light in each bunk. Gives your kids natural light, the ability to charge all of their goodies. If you're not using the bottom bunk, you can fold up this uh, the bottom bunk and have extra storage available to you. Right here we have the restroom. Oh, I like this one. This one looks pretty sizey. 6'3", no issue with legroom. No issue with shoulder room. This is the perfect potty. Right here. Get into the shower. 6'3". Plenty of height in the skylight. You also have a tub feature, so that's pretty cool for the bunkhouse. Shift over. Nice size sink. Got some storage underneath and a pretty deep medicine cabinet. Yeah, there's a lot of space in this bathroom. Heater vent, really convenient. 
heading out of the bathroom, looking towards the front of the travel trailer, right by the front door, pantry storage. Lots of it. In case you're wondering, these are your fuse panels with your breakers and your fuses in it. Spacey U-shaped dinette. Also convert into a bed. Storage underneath. All the sides. That was actually pretty cool. I just flipped this switch. You've got a light here. Flip this switch and your window visors are backlit. That's actually kind of cool. Moving on. Right next to the U-shaped dinette. Your Dometic fridge freezer combo running off propane and electricity depending on how you are hooked up you can automatically switch over and across from that we have your entertainment center nice little nook above for your games or your DVDs not much space behind the TV but you do have your outlets your Bluetooth receiver Nice little cutout. Some good storage underneath there. Here we are in the kitchen. No lack for storage. Under the oven. Utensils next to the oven. The oven itself. Three burner propane cooktop. Nice little backsplash, window in the kitchen, natural light, your additional light, power tower, giving you two USBs and two outlets that can disappear. Pretty handy. More storage underneath the sink. Pretty decent space right above the sink. Nice deep storage compartment next to the microwave and stove. All right, moving on in. AC controller to the master bedroom. You do have a separate door giving you a little sense of privacy in this uh, 25 foot interior lead travel trailer about 29 feet in total length your front queen storage underneath that keystone bullet wardrobe system with privacy drawer large wardrobe closet pass-through space on the shelf above your bed Outlets as well as USBs on both sides of the bed with an extra shelf. AC vent, the max air blade, pump it out, extra AC. You see your Coleman mock AC unit right up top. Here we have it. One of the cool feature for the bullets in general, as you can see it, they have vaulted ceilings. So we're talking about seven foot high ceilings, very tall ceilings. I really like that feature and they make it more spacious. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thank you so much.